Hello kids, good morning. Welcome back again. My today's video is about spoilage of food. In my previous video, I started an activity where I took three bread pieces. The first piece was dried in the sun and thereafter it was kept on the kitchen shelf. The second piece was refrigerated and the third piece was moist and kept in a covered box. So let's check the result of the activity. Uh, the first piece has become very hard. The second one is a uh, little soft but not that much soft as it was earlier. And the third bread piece, it has some cottony growth on it. These changes take place because the bread mold starts growing on the bread. These molds are a type of fungus. We have seen that in three bread pieces, only the third fungus grow in the third one. The foul smell has started. It has spoiled. So let us discuss the causes that lead to the spoilage of food. The first one is microorganism. Micro ka matlab hai, bohat hi chota, itna chota ki inko naked eye se to observe bhi nahi kiya ja sakta. They are observed under the microscope only. These are tiny organisms like bacteria and fungi. These are main cause for the spoilage of food. Food spoilage ke main cause hai bacteria and fungi and these organisms they tend to grow fast in the presence of moisture and warmth. जैसे कि third bread piece में हमने observe किया कि जब उसको moisture भी मिला तो और warmth भी मिली सबसे पहले वही वाला bread piece जो था वो spoil हुआ अगर हम चाहते हैं कि हम अपने food item को spoil होने से बचाएं तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं हम उसको dry कर सकते हैं we can remove the moisture from food and we can keep the food at low temperature low temperature मतलब हम fridge में उसको रख सकते हैं to reduce the chance of growth of fungi and bacteria Next is enzymes. Enzymes are chemicals that are present in all fruits and vegetables. ये सब fruits और vegetables में पाए जाते हैं. Enzymes जो होते हैं वो useful होते हैं because they cause ripening of fruits. उनकी वजह से fruits पकते हैं. आपने देखा होगा कि mostly raw fruits are green in color और taste wise वो खट्टे या फिर कड़वे होते हैं. पर जब वो पक जाते हैं, they change their color and become sweet. And this happens because of the action of enzymes. So, we can say that enzymes are quite useful. But at the same time, these enzymes are responsible for spoilage of fruits as well. Because the action of enzymes doesn't stop after the ripening of fruits. They generally speed up the changes that result in loss of flavor, color and appearance. And ultimately, the food gets spoiled. The next reason for the spoilage of food is insects, swarms and rats. These animals usually make their home in places that are moist and dark and where the food items are available, jaha unko khana available ho jata hai. To kya kya jaye, agar hum apne cupboards, uh, shelves or containers ko saaf rakhe, dry rakhe, this will prevent them from making a home at places where our food items are kept. So dear children, this was all about spoilage of food and in my next video, I will talk about prevention of spoilage of food. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.